Okay, we're off. Trudy and I are going to do a little tour of the farm. Uh, currently, we've just left the farmhouse and we're heading down the rear boundary. And that's our neighbour Cliff's house on the right there. And uh, just heading down here, when we first got the farm, down the bottom there was mud up to your knees. So we had to have some drainage work done there to firm it all up. Now it's nice and solid, we can drive over it. Down to the left is the dam, but you can see in the distance there some horses. They're not our horses. Our neighbour keeps her horses on our property and it helps keep our grass down. Plus they're lovely to have around. So here we are. There's a bit of runoff comes from the dam down here. We had the groundworks done, so the water now runs underneath and down into a little creek, so it's really solid. But walking here originally, it was mud up to our knees. So we're heading over to the second paddock now. We've got one drinking trough on the right. And we have had all this made into a bit of a road. The digger man came and made it into a bit of a road so we can actually do a complete circuit now. So we're crossing over into the second large paddock. This is probably the second of the five acres. Another drinking trough on the right. And our property goes right down into that gully down on the right, not up the hill. Up this hill, as we go up, we're coming up to a level building platform that we had made. We aren't sure if we're going to actually build on here yet, but it was a lovely spot. The only thing, it's a bit exposed, it's a bit windy, and ahead you can see the big dam. We get lots of ducks, swans, black swans, believe it or not, all sorts of wildlife on the dam. Currently nothing much about because they don't really like the noise of the Polaris. So we're heading back across the causeway now, across to the other side, <clears throat> almost to where we started. Land drops away there to the left. That's built up to make part of this causeway. There's some bamboo planted down there. That's the old pump house on the left. We don't use that. The adjoining property though does have access to our dam water, so uh, this dam water does fill his concrete troughs as well. Not pump, just gravity fed. So now we're crossing over towards the farmhouse again. There's the little original farmhouse and the milking shed on the left. That's what we're staying in at the moment. That's what we're, we're renovating. Now up the hill towards the road, the main road, that's State Highway 12. And at the top of this hill, it affords probably the best view of the whole property. As you can see, it's quite undulating. There's not a lot of level land but it's still fine for cows, for stock. And the dam, they tell us, is spring-fed, so it will never dry out. That's our access road on the left there. We come off the highway down to our farmhouse. So this kind of gives us a good idea of, of the lay of the land. I'm just checking to make sure the camera is still working there. And of course it is. So off in the distance you can see the hills and right down to the Kuiper Harbour there, towards the centre of the shot.
I was thinking what a cool spot to make a terrain park for mountain biking. I'll have to look into that. Wouldn't take much to get the digger man to come in and put a, a good track right around the dam, down the other side and back up again. It'd be a really interesting circuit for mount, full mountain biking. So this is a level area the original owner had set up. I think he was going to actually have caravans or camper vans coming in here and staying overnight. So he leveled it all off and put that little fence, but it was never used as that. One small disadvantage, we do have uh, power lines running down the side here. So for any future building, we have to steer clear of those. Though it's just a power line that feeds the back properties from the main road. It is handy though to tap into for power. We've got three phase power in the farmhouse. In the back of the farmhouse there you can see the big garage we've had built. Okay, we're coming down to the plat the building platform now that we'd like to put our cabin on. It's looking south towards the Kuiper Harbour. You can see the trail that we've just come around, done the circuit on. And right here is where we would put our cabin. So we'd have a lovely outlook there, down the valley. And to the left over the dam that you'll see in a minute. It's a nice level spot. Still needs a little bit of leveling, but it's at least this is where the pig shed was originally was an old, it wasn't that old, but we couldn't do anything with it. So we knocked it down, made the level space for us to build. And we would have that view over the dam there to the left. So we're going back over the causeway again in the opposite direction. The electric fence is there on the left set up so the horses don't go down too far and fall in the water. It's a nice walk around that circuit we've just driven to. Bit of flat, bit of hill. So this is the other building platform that has a great view. But as I said, it's quite exposed, so we probably won't ever put any actual buildings there. And here we go up the hill on the far side of the farm. This hill takes us right up the top to the hidden gate. Quite steep. But the fact that there is an access point over here that we were totally unaware of in a hidden gate, and that's why we call it the Hidden Gate Farm. The horses come up here to get out of the weather. It's a nice sheltered little area and there's the hidden gate. The hidden gate. And here we've turned around and that's our view from the top of that that hill where the hidden gate is right behind us now. So in the distance there you can see the Kuiper, backwaters of the Kuiper Harbour. The neighbours land in the far distance and wetlands. It's a little creek down there if you follow that tree line. The bottom of that tree line is our boundary and it goes right off to the far left amongst the poplar trees. There's the horses. Hopefully they're going to come across and we'll be able to give them some carrots. the first of the drinking troughs there on the right that I'm trying to get clean at the moment. Enticing the horses with the carrots. It's 
just down to the left there we've got about another probably two or three acres undulating two or three acres sometimes the neighbor's sheep come across and here's the <laughs> the first of our horses Chico he's the older of the two and he's kind of greedy but he's lovely The other horse is a thoroughbred, her name's Berta, and he bosses her around terribly. If she gets too many carrots, he bites her on the bottom, tries to hunt her away. We'll have to get a bit of footage of her later on. Anyhow, though we don't have any animals of our own, we do enjoy looking after the neighbours' animals. Usually we have five or six cows as well, but for some reason they're not there at the moment. They come and go. The neighbour opens the gate when he needs a bit of extra pasture for them. So we're just coming to the end of our movie. It's not complete, but gives you a good idea.